Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly. So I woke up this morning and tacky was trending. I guess Toya finally finished her house. Well, I mean, the house is finished, but she finally had it furnished. Or is she still walking around, hello, hello, hello? Maybe she learned from Nini. They probably have the same designer. Empty and Flanagan. San Francisco lawmakers propose the Karen Act to stop discriminatory 911 calls. We got your ass now, girl. Now you're going to understand what scrutiny really means. I can hear the operator now. Ma'am, ma'am, this is an offense. Do you have an asymmetrical bob? And it's C-A-R-E-N. Caution against racially exploitative non-emergencies. Karen. Oh my God, that is... And it was brought by Supervisor Shimon Walton and Assemblymember Rob Bonita in San Francisco. I tell you, they came up with quite the acronym. I talk about Kanye West running for president, but um, I'm not going to make fun of the mentally ill. Then again, maybe we should campaign against him. We've seen what happened before. Thandy Newton said Tom Cruise was an ass. Who's surprised? Hands? Child, we've been through that. Let's see what's on the shade room. T.I. says his catalog is doper than Jay-Z. I'm sorry, but the camel got more hits than you, and I don't even like him. Well, he ain't never done nothing to me. But yeah, he got more hits than you. The blueprint alone blows you away, T.I. Shut up. Ooh, I mean, now that is ignorant. That's like Carrie Hilson going up against Beyonce. That's like Carrie Hilson. Hell. Tiffany Haddish shaved her hair on Snapchat. I'm sure it'll look nice when she's done. She just needs better lighting. Nothing wrong with a fresh face, just better lighting. I think actually a short do would really look nice on her. Is she gonna go for ball? I could see her giving a cute finger wave. I guess now he's she got tired a nice of trying brown to be fake head. woke. Because remember when he sometimes had that show cheeks, about mental health? I mean, I got Now he's like, okay, so let me it. try to go the comedy They talk about banning TikTok, y'all. Because nobody was buying my bullshit. I see That's that sad. obviously. I actually pivot. enjoyed it. It was like Vine, it which they pivot. never should have gotten rid of. Like, People I don't like, get it. Why get rid of Vine skirt, just to have TikTok? Bring back Vine. And then give us longer than six seconds. Sierra's been with Russell Wilson for four years, while Futures had five babies. Mm. And she really thought she was going to marry that man. <laughs> mm. Then again, we thought we were going to have a holiday season. So Uber bought Postmates. So now my car going to smell like food? Ew. Oh my God. 42 Doug's ex said, I'm not about to argue with with no big booty man. I could sit a cup on his ass. Did he get fat while he was with you? Because if you his ex, you was fine with it when you was with him. She said, I will not go back and forth with a fat booty. So, Four's ex-boyfriend, London on the track, is upset with one of his baby mamas for posting the DNA results online. He said that this has publicly humiliated him. How? Like, the kid's yours. You humiliated yourself by dragging this shit out and accusing her of being a hoe. That, that's what's embarrassing, your own actions, not, not the paternity. That just means your sperm work. That's all that means. It was your actions that made you assholic. That was embarrassing, not the paternity. You're missing the point. But I know one thing you won't miss, and that's a payment. Because she's garnishing, dear. Garnishing, yeah. People got mad at Nene for not wearing a mask around Greg, who's a cancer survivor. She don't love that man. She trying to get out of that marriage any which way she can. 
It's a damn shame we care more about Greg than Nene. Nene ain't got no mask on, girl. Breathe it all in. Protect Greg. So Tinsley Mortimer has been taken out of the Real Housewives of New York's opening credits, but we've got the new taglines. Dorinda's is like a mint in your mouth. I can be a bit fresh. No, you're, you're drunk, and when you're drunk, you can smell that coming off your breath a mile away. It comes out of your pores. Ramona's tagline is, so what if I'm self-involved? Who else should I be involved with? Well, nobody wants to be involved with you. That's why your husband cheated and left. Leah McSweeney, I'll say sorry for what I've done, but never sorry for who I am. Um, uh, okay. You was all right this season. I, I'm glad you coming back, but uh, you don't really fit. But I guess we'll try to make you. They're gonna try to make you the next Bethany. So you better get on your business plot line. And Luann's is, I rise above the drama and won't settle for the lower level. Cause she was whining about staying in Ramona's lower level and it was the basement. I could see Ramona doing that just to start shit. So we have some tea on the Monique versus Candace brawl on Housewives of Potomac. So Chris got into an argument with somebody who runs an Instagram blog, and here's what he had to say about the fight. End of the night scene, everybody was ready to go home. Candace says, you know what? I really love all of you. Like we all have our differences, but I really love you all. Ashley chimes in, oh, you and Monique made up? Candace responds, we are where we are. I said I love everyone, and that is what I meant. Monique then says, oh, I love Candace way back there in the dust. I don't have nothing for her. And that's when they started fighting back and forth, and it escalated to where Candace flicked Monique's jacket. Okay, so Candace started it. Monique grabs Candace by the hair and punches her in the back of the head three times. Please, we want to see it. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. Oh, 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 it's blow by blow by blow. Bops connect. Monique tried all season to start with Candace before that event, and Candace wouldn't respond to her the way Candace typically responds. And then Monique tried to reach for a knife while holding on to her other hand. Three men tried to pull Monique's hands off of Candace. They were just doing what all housewives do. It wasn't even serious. Giselle and Robin were laughing at them and started to walk away. When she was trying to be calmed down by production, she was acting calm, but as soon as the producer opened the door, she bolted out of the room, trying to get back to where Candace was, saying she was gonna kill that bitch. But when she found out Candace had already left, she calmed down, and that's when she told Ashley Candace threw wine on her. Well, I, I wonder how much of this conversation will prove true. This season, I could see them showing a hair pull, but blocking the bops. And I'm sick of them blocking the bops. Ooh, I'm looking forward to August and Housewives of Potomac. In Beverly Hills news, Mauricio's real estate firm closing amid the pandemic. People still need houses. Nobody's trusting you with their listing. Mm. The firm is reportedly in reassessment mode. Child, they got two to five million from the PPP too. They've had to lay off and furlough people. It's real estate, what's really going on? Cause real estate agents work for themselves and have their own listings. Like if somebody needs to sell their house, like unless they decide not to sell anymore, all they're gonna do is look for somebody who wants to sell. And right now there are people who do want to sell, who need cash now, or also want to move closer to family or want to move away from family. But that, that don't make a no sense to me because I've, I've worked in it. I know how that shit worked. Like, are you talking about a receptionist or two? How many receptionists y'all got? That shit should have been virtual anyway. I believe y'all have us broke. Everybody on Beverly Hills ends up broke. Good luck, Garcelle. But I think you on the show for the come up. I think you're on your candy burris. A lot of these heifers know they going broke, waiting for shit to hit the fan, and so they get on here and secure a large check to pay off their debt, their debt. Uh, Marge did it, because she was in that lawsuit. That's why she went on and got on the show. Um, there was another, Danielle did it, because she was broke. Um, Dorit did it, because she was getting sued. Taylor did it, because uh, the shit with her husband. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They be, before the shit hit the fan, they get they get that good check. I see it. I see it. It's a pattern. T.I. talks snitching allegations. He never gave no motherfucking information. Now, as much as you will sit in Tiny's face and lie to her, lie, 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 you think we gonna believe you that you didn't snitch so you could continue your rap career? You're as short and as scary as Takashi. Y'all love to give little Lord short Leroy till it's actually time to deal with something and then you run and squeal. Eww. Quiet as it's kept, I believe they've kept T.I. as an informant. All them charges, all those, please. In Atlanta, over sentencing Atlanta, really? Come on now. You was given Whitney Houston. This is for Aaron, Baron, Karen, Laren, Aaliyah, Mara. And let me tell you about Crystal, uh-huh. Hollywood Larry has had it with Kay Machette. He says she refused to pay her invoice and threw a vase at his head, embarrassing him. We could all see her doing it. I mean, that's still how she acts, especially in private. And I think now that she has less to lose, she's back to her old ways. Kim apparently wanted some prosthetic ass and hips because I guess she wanted to do an old versus new look. And she, he said, that's not really my thing. I'm a makeup artist. And she said, call some of the scammer and get it done. This is Pete K. Michette. Oh God, then the producer chimes in. I produced this video and I can attest to a lot of drama K. Michette caused. She cussed out, threatened, attempted to attack the director because she didn't like how she looked and there was over $7,000 in overages and damages to the low KK. And you wonder, you see, you see, you don't know how to act. You was probably on that honey jack. Floyd Mayweather is charging fans $999 for a customized video on Cameo. You know what, I would almost pay it and you know what I would wanna do? See him read at a 12th grade level. Wouldn't that be worth $1,000? <laughs> okay, now this is news that is pissing me off. I was 38 hot when I read this. Adele is allegedly working with Raphael Sadiq and John Legend for her new album. What the fuck do you mean it's not done already? I want that shit on ice, like... Where is it? Put it, out. oh my God, you're just now getting around to it? The fuck? Oh, we're gonna be waiting two or three years for this shit. Jesus, I was like, okay, you know, November, holiday seas. Oh no, oh no, she likes Sade. She make your ass wait. I'm sure the music will be fabulous. I just was like, oh God. You just getting started. <laughs> Evelyn Lozada and her daughter have the same guy sliding in their DMs. I wouldn't tell anyone that. That is so skeezy, backwood, Ozarkian, West Virginia, Florida Blanche Devereaux, incest. Ooh. 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 I, uh. Jesus, skanks, trollops, and huzzies. I mean, I'm sure this shit happened. I would just, like, that ain't nothing to brag about. That just means you got some community cock up in your DMs. Some pass around penis. Streets long. That means he's not interested in you. It's literally anything with a vagina. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But you see, at, at what, 45, Evelyn still don't know that? She don't know much. Unsolved Mysteries is back, and I will be reviewing it. I had no idea. Networks offering reality TV stars good behavior bonuses. Oh my God, they're talking about behaving well as in not using racial slurs on social medias or getting into fights with castmates. Oh, Jesus. Yep, it's right here on page6.com. I don't make this shit up. I guess they're getting tired of having to fire people and also the back and forth on social media where it's like, y'all spill all the damn reunion tea before we can get to the reunion. Basically, if you're gonna fight, do the shit on camera. And rather than say, don't be racist, just 
put your hood in your uh, in your closet. Okay. Okay, NBC, we see you. They had a Black Lives Matter march in Montauk, the Hamptons. They got about three black lives out there. Okay, Hamptons, I see you. Oh, Jesus, VH1 tossed around the idea of flavor of love as the blatchler. The blatchler. I mean, it's not like he any uglier. <laughs> ah, I mean, that's as ugly as it can get. It is just... It has reached its pinnacle, its apex, the apex of Oogly. Oh, that's what they were originally going to call Flavor of Love. I thought they were going to bring it back. I mean, they could, under a new moniker. We ain't got shit else to do. And I'm sure there's some girl that wants to be the next Hoops and Shay Johnson. I'm sure somebody wants that for their future. To be on and get, to be on VH1 and get cussed out by Monique and say I want to be a Model slash actress. Mm. Rebecca Black says she feels pressured to figure out her sexuality. Half a week forgot who you were. Just about 400 Fridays ago, we forgot who the fuck you were. We don't care if it's penis or pussy. You don't feel no pressure from nobody because nobody knows you. Who pressuring you? Your mama. Is your mama pressuring you? Tell her stay out your pussy and worry about her own. You old has-been ass. And you really a never was. Mm. Career no bigger than a minute. People are pressured. Oh, God, you had to pay to get the announcement of your little bisexuality in the paper. Was this a free follow-up? Did you do a buy one, get one? I can't wish you ever. Oh, God. All right, well, those were today's lukewarm topics, um, but I will see you soon for some. For power. For power. Y'all, we watched the first season. The shit is good. I might do a live watch along for the finale. I might do that on, um, on YouTube this time. We'll see when I get to it. We'll see. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly.